Hi, uh, my name is Marcus. I'm from Sweden. I work for One Press TV. I want to ask uh, Stellan Skarsgård a question. I first want to say welcome to Berlin Film Festival. Thank you. Uh, what caught, what uh, caught your interest, interest to be part of this movie? Well, I, I saw a script several years ago that wasn't very good, but I read the book, and the book was fantastic. Uh, and then uh, different people were working on it for several years, and uh, suddenly Hans Petter, whom I've been working with several times before, wrote a script that for the first time got close to the very soul of the book. And that was just, not just re relating what was happening in the book. Uh, and I thought that Hans Petter, I'm a, very much a city boy, and Hans Petter is the man of the wilderness. <laughs> He's the one who dra drags me out in the snow in minus 30 degrees in film after film, and he loves it. <laughs> and he loves the Norwegian nature. So I thought that he would be the man to, to find the poet poetry in in this book, which in some ways gives you, I mean, you, you think of Hamsun's uh, pawn and that kind of nature presence uh, when you read the book. And I knew that Hans Petter could do it. But I also wanted to play with Hans Petter again because we get along even if it's cold. <laughs> You yeah, see, I can also open a bottle even without a bottle opener. Yeah, did you bite it open or use your rectum? <laughs> For most of the people who read this novel, I think the overwhelming quality, aside from the literary ones, is an atmosphere and a tone that just seeps into you, so you feel like you're part of a life that's true, that's... Uh, encompasses some really deep and uh, profound uh, aspects of being a human being. And um, it's, uh, in a way, an overwhelming and hard to decipher novel because it doesn't have an apparent uh, quick uh, storyline or plot to, uh, you know, be pitched or whatever. But it's, uh, it's a fantastic experience to read it. And that's really what uh, was the ambition of when uh, transforming it into a film. You know, um, it, it was a really natural role to kind of fit into. Um, and I developed a really good uh, uh, chemistry with all the actors that uh, I worked with uh, as well. And uh, it, it became really easy for me to only focus on uh, my work because uh, of the, you know, positive uh, energy that was on set. So it was, a, it was a really interesting experience for me. Um, well, I, I did read the book um, <laughs> 13 years ago. I didn't know that I was preparing for a role when I read it. Um, <laughs> But the book has something that interests me a lot, which is I feel that this is a story I could read every tenth year, probably, the rest of my life, and it will hit me in a different way and mean something uh, different every time I read it. Um, and I think that that is a little bit of what Hans Petter just talked about, how the editing of this movie also is. I feel that he has hit sort of that nerve um, to it, so I think this is also a movie that will, I can still watch it ten years from now and probably it will mean something completely different and new to me. Um, preparing for the role is a... Uh, <coughs> The chemistry with with uh, Jon playing Trun, my son, of course, is a big part of it. Um, um, I, I don't have a son my, my own. Um, I do have a kid, but she's three, so a little bit smaller. Um, uh, it was it was important to have a good chemistry uh, with Jon, and also to. Um, to make both of us feel safe with each other without saying anything. Because that's sort of often the space where you just start talking. <laughs> mm. And in this movie there's a lot of just being there. Um, we had to be able to just sit and 
eat and look at each other for quite some time without <laughs> ever feeling uh, unsecure, which I do when I have eye contact with people. Um, but uh, of course, these two um, didn't, um, and it's it's it's. We did um, a lot of the work was also just to be able to breathe in it. Um, usually, it's sort of a, uh, this is, I've never been in a, in a production where I have to um, just be mm. as much as in this one. And this was a very, uh, it's a new experience in many ways, and it's a, it was a pleasant surprise, actually. Um, yeah. And of course, it helps to have Stellan's voice over just sort of commenting on on your thoughts and on your life. I should, every human being alive should sort of have that. Because That's a soundtrack. It becomes really rich. <laughs> Everything. Everything means meaningful. something, yes. Yeah. yeah, and for me it was a great, great privilege to be uh, a part of this project. I'm uh, originally from Denmark, so uh, a lot of preparation was how to speak Norwegian with no accent. Um, no, it was a great privilege and uh, a very amazing character with, you know, it's also, as you say, it's interesting to also uh, play a character with so few words actually, but with such an intensity and also being a, a, um, a memory of, from someone, you know, um, a very strong character who, you know, despite her grief, chooses life and chooses to, to um, yeah, to act from her heart. So it was, yeah, 